creators it's melissa from melissa's creations and i have a very special episode for you today because i am participating in the ink and share blog hop this is a new blog hop that has just gone live this month thank you so much lisa for putting this together for us this month's hop theme is of course celebration because celebration is in full swing and there are so many wonderful products that you can earn for free by placing an order. I am using party pandas to create this fun little panda that's lost in the jungle here. So cute. And I am pairing it with the Painted Harvest stamp set. That is where the ferns and the leaves are coming from, as well as this beautiful sentiment down here. I can't wait to share with you how I made this card. Let's get started. So we are using these two beautiful stamp sets right here. We're going to be using the fun panda here that has the balloon, but we're not going to be stamping the balloon, just the panda. So I'm gonna get him out. And we're also going to use three stamps from this set here. We're going to use the solid fern, the solid leaves, and the sentiment right here. So let's grab those out as well. We're going to start with a full sheet of Whisper White card stock, and we're going to cut our card base. So with the long edge at the top, we're going to cut that at five and a half. And then we're going to rotate it and score it at four and a quarter. With the other half of that card stock, we're going to cut the mat for the front of our card. So I'm going to put with the long edge at the top, I'm going to cut it at four. And then I'm going to rotate and cut it again at five and a quarter. So now we have our card base, we have our card mat that will go on the front, and we have a scrap piece of paper here that we can use to do our stamping and fussy cutting. I'm going to bring in my stamp and pierce mat so that when I stamp with my photopolymer stamps, I get a nice crisp image. We're going to start by stamping our panda with our archival stamp and pad in basic black. So again, I don't need the balloon, I just need the panda. So I'm just going to ink up the panda. And we'll get him stamped down. And while I have my black out, I'm going to bring in my card mat so that I can stamp my sentiment. And that goes in the middle towards the bottom. I am using three different tones of green for this card. Bermuda Bay, Emerald Envy from the 1618 in colors, and Lemon Lime Twist from the 1719 in colors. I also have some sponge daubers here that I will be using with these colors to sponge my stamps to get the variegated look. You can see on these leaves here, some of them are slightly variegated with different ink tones, and we're going to do that with our sponge daubers. So let's get these open and start stamping some images. Okay, I'm going to start with the fern stamp, and you want quite a variety. I'm gonna say to do seven of the ferns, give or take, and about three or four of the leaves. So I'm going to stamp one in regular ink without any sponging of each color. And now, before I clean it or re-ink it or anything, I'm going to take one of the sponge daubers for the other colors, and I'm just going to add a little bit of color from the other inks to that stamp. And then, before I stamp it down, I'm going to give it a huff to re-moisten that ink and then get it on the paper. <sighs> And 
and you can see it is a much lighter image but we have a little bit of variegation lots of different colors in there and that's what we're looking for so now I'm gonna clean this off on my stamp and scrub and then I'm gonna move on to my next ink color so we've got our emerald envy here so we're gonna stamp that down with full ink and remember we're gonna fussy cut all these out so just be be aware of that when you are stamping them down so now I'm going to take some of my lemon lime twist and sponge a little bit on there and some of that Bermuda Bay right there huff again and stamp that down Okay, last color, we're going to stamp full Bermuda Bay. And add some more of those beautiful variegated colors. All right, now taking that leaf stamp, we're going to ink that up. And this time, I'm not going to stamp it in a solid color. I'm going to go straight for the variegated look. So we're just going to add some of those beautiful colors onto that stamp there. And look at how gorgeous all of those variegated ferns and leaves are. This is going to be a beautiful card. When I fussy cut my panda, I'm going to be cutting out the balloon string. I don't want that to show. And when I do that, there will be a white space on his little paw there. So to cover that up, I'm just going to take my Stampin' Write marker in basic black, and I'm just going to color in that line and once it dries you won't even be able to tell it's there all right so i have my snips i've got all of my images we're going to fussy cut these out and then we're going to use the coordinating leaf punch that coordinates with that painted harvest set to punch out our leaves so put on some tunes make sure you're comfy and get to snipping All right, now that we have our fussy cutting done, we're gonna set that aside and we're going to bring in our big shot so that we can cut out a circle from the front of our card mat. So I have my big shot platform, thin die adapter, and one cutting plate. I'm going to bring in my card mat here and you can use any circle that you have. If you have a punch that's large enough, you could use that as well. I'm choosing to use my stitched shapes framelits and I'm using the largest circle. And we're just going to center that as best as we can right above our sentiment. Put a cutting plate on top and run that through. And of course, save this beautiful stitched piece for another project. All right, it's my favorite time. It's time to assemble all of our beautiful pieces. I have my craft mat behind my mat here so that when I'm using my glue, I don't damage my work surface. So what we're going to do is take all of those beautiful ferns and we're just gonna kind of get a placement first of all. So. I'm going to tuck some of these in and out of the frame and I'm going to start just kind of putting a few of them around the outside here just like this. So some of these pieces are fussy cut a lot and some of them are just kind of basically outlines so I've, I've kind of dipped in 
farther on some pieces than I have on others. And that's just really personal preference. You can fussy cut it as much or as little as you'd like. <clears throat> so I do want to make sure that I have some of these ferns kind of poking all the way into the frame here, the circle. And we're just getting a rough idea and then we will get this all stuck down in just a minute. So now we're going to carefully get our panda tucked down in there. And remember, this is all super loose and that's okay right now. We're just kind of getting our placement. We just want to get that panda kind of sneaking out into the frame here. All right, and once you're happy with how that looks, we're going to take some of our glue dots and we're just gonna sneak a couple in and around where those leaves go onto the front of the card frame. So for example, right here, we're gonna put one little glue dot back there and we're just basically tacking a few of these points down. So once you have a few of those kind of tacked down a little bit, we're going to bring in our card base and let's get our bone folder and fold that in half. And then we're going to use this kind of like, I don't know if you guys have ever flipped a cake, you know, completely upside down, but you take a plate and in this case, it's our cardstock. We're going to put that on our image and then we're going to flip it over and then take that plate away or that mat. Okay, so now we have our image like this and I'm going to use our tear and tape adhesive. So let me find the end here, there it is. And we're using this just like tape. And in fact, if you wanted to use tape, you could definitely do that instead. Now, I know from looking at the front of my card where I can put a solid line of tape without it showing on the other side. So I did that just to get it stuck down. It's on the panda and it's on one of the long ferns. And it looks like I can put another piece here and get away with it without it showing on the other side. So we'll do that. And then you can just use small pieces to adhere the other cutouts to your card, just like this. All right, now moment of truth, when you pick it up and flip it around, as long as none of your pieces fall out, then you are good to go. So we're going to use our dimensionals to pop this up onto our card base. And I like to use a lot of dimensionals, you guys know this. So I'm just going to pop a few, <laughs> and by a few, I mean almost the entire sheet, all around, even on the background of some of those ferns and leaves. And that also helps it to kind of hold in place. And there we are creators. There is our super cute panda card using the Painted Harvest bundle as well as the Party Panda stamp set. Now the Painted Harvest bundle consists of the stamp set and the punch, although it is not listed as a bundle anymore and you do need to purchase those items separately. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Ink and Share blog hop. Be sure to scroll down to the bottom of my blog post and click on that next button so that you can start hopping along to all of the super talented demonstrators that are joining us this month. If you don't currently have your own demonstrator, I would love it if you shopped with me. Let me know what I can help you find. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to my YouTube channel and click that little bell icon to be notified of new videos. And let me know what you thought of today's project. Did you ever think that you could take that Painted Harvest set and turn it into a jungle theme? I think this is super cute and it works so well with that Party Pandas celebration stamp set.
Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. You can visit me online at melissascreations.com, also on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations, and on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!